Part 4 of Ahsoka was a roller coaster of awesomeness and insane moments, but one of the craziest moments that may have left fans confused involved the menacing villain Marok. Now, before we dive any further, I'll be discussing spoilers for Part 4 of Ahsoka, so get them booty cheeks out of here if you don't want any spoilers for the episode. So among the myriad of wild moments in Part 4 of Ahsoka, we got to see Ahsoka seemingly kill Marok with a slash to his gut, only for a green mist to shoot out of Marok's wound, while a shrieking kind of sound can be heard. So what the hell was that and who is Marok? We know that Marok was once an Inquisitor that hunted Jedi for the Empire but then began working as a mercenary for Morgan Elsbeth. Since all of the Inquisitors were once Jedi, we can assume the same can be said for Marok, which would mean that Marok is just Marok, a totally new character for Ahsoka. He wasn't Ezra, Starkiller, or even the 8th brother as I had thought. He's just a fallen Jedi turned Inquisitor named Marok, which I think I actually prefer. So then what was that green mist that seeped out of him when Ahsoka killed him? I think there's a couple of possibilities as to what the deal was with that green mist, all of which stems from Night Sister Magic. Night Sister Magic was an aspect of the Force and supernatural technique that allowed a practitioner to wield great powers connected to the dark side of the Force, and it typically manifested as a green mist. Once Marok began working with Morgan Elsbeth, who's a Night Sister, I think the most likely explanation is that she could have used her magic to enhance Marok's strength and abilities, which would be similar to what Mother Talzin did to Savage Opress in the Clone Wars, and also similar to what the Night Sister Marin did to the Night Brothers on Dathomir in the game Jedi Fallen Order. And just like Marok, when Savage was killed, a similar green mist was emitted from his body while an ominous sound can be heard. The green mist that's emitted from Savage's body when he died is more of a neon green compared to the mist that seeps from Marok's body, but they're still very similar. Another possibility is that Marok had previously died, but Elsbeth used a Night Sister spell to reanimate them. We've seen in the Clone Wars, Fallen Order, and the novel Jedi Battle Scars that Night Sisters are able to reanimate individuals that died. Usually, we've seen Night Sisters use a spell called the Chant of Resurrection to reanimate fallen Night Sisters, but in Battle Scars, Marin used that spell to reanimate a small group of fallen prisoners. Though powerful, the spell's effect would last only as long as the spellcaster was active, and should they cease maintaining it or be killed while using the spell, the undead would become immobile corpses once more. Because of this, I think it's unlikely that Marok had previously died and Elsbeth reanimated him. One last possibility that could explain the green mist that seeped from Marok is that maybe he was possessed by the specter of a dead Night Sister. I think this explanation is very unlikely, but there is a possibility that this could explain what was going on with Marok, so I figured I'd mention it. In the Season 3 episode of Star Wars Rebels, titled Visions and Voices, we saw Sabine Wren and Kanan Jarrus both become possessed by the specters of two fallen Night Sisters. The only problem with this theory is that, in that Rebels episode, when Kanan and Sabine are possessed, they couldn't venture outside of the Night Sister cave on Dathomir that they were in because the Night Sister specters' power came from an altar in said cave. So I'm thinking this isn't what was going on with Marok, but it's at least somewhat of a possibility. Most likely, once Marok came into the employ of Morgan Elsbeth, she used her Night Sister magic and cast a spell to enhance his strength and abilities, just like Talzin did to Savage Opress and Marin to her Night Brothers, which would explain the mist that we see ooze out of Marok as he died. But what do you think? Do you think Elsbeth used a spell to enhance Marok's abilities, or do you think the green mist was something else? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on TikTok and Twitter at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.